You might want to buckle up, baby. And now, get ready for WTF. You want to prove once for all that I'm better than you? Strap up. Bring it on, big brother Tim, man. Whose take is first? Brought to you by TireOutlet.com. Wholesale prices, premium service. Can I can I start with a non-sports take observation I'd like to get your opinion on? You may. I think I've determined a great undersold foundation of stress in this country. Okay. And I think now is a good time to point it out as so many of our cities and areas, denizens, are on the roads this morning, mm-hmm. making their morning commute, got their lunch pail, going to work for the man. Okay. I think one of the great stressors, underlying stressors in life, and the cause of many of your uh, rages on the roadways, okay, is the disconnect when I think 90% of now traffic, um, you know, uh, conflicts okay. occur because of this. I'm listening. Because of the dichotomy of those who are in a hurry to get where they're going because they're a little late, and those that are just on a Sunday drive. In other words, you get, you know, you get on a two-lane road. The conflict. And- yeah, that's the conflict. It's yes. that underlying, bubbling, simmering conflict out there. I've been both. From those that have a good sweet sides. time and don't care. Because there is nothing in the world that can that can get under your skin quickly than to be on, like, say, a two-lane road where the speed limit is 40 and the dude's going 38. And you, we all know you go 60 on that road. Let's go here, Chief. Move. I've been on both sides. There are many times where, you know, I don't know if you know this, but my lack of directional mm-hmm. knowledge uh, happens because when I'm driving on the road, I'm whistling a happy tune or zoned out or in the Bahamas and just going through the motions. And I'll look down and I'm not going very fast at all. And then I'll notice behind me that he's glaring at these angry people behind yeah, me. And I'm like, oh, I is. guess I'm that guy that, today. That, that guy's late. You're on a Sunday drive. Yeah, I'm on a Sunday it's drive. It's not even intentional half the time. No, it wasn't intentional. Just oh, jamming I'm sorry, on some friend. Let me move man. over yeah. here. I'm just writing the songs right. to make the whole world sing. Yeah, and if you're running late somewhere, I don't know what to tell you. Quite, quite frankly, if you're running late somewhere, it's not that guy's fault that he's just going a nice normal speed. It's really not. And and I, but but I've also been on the other side where yeah. I'm in a hurry, and yeah. sometimes you get stuck in Why? traffic. Why? Why? Why are you two in the same opposite right. lanes going the same speed? Yes. And Why? Then, and then the realization comes in if you're that person. Sometimes you go, oh, okay, oh, well, oops. let me move. Right? Right. I, <laughs> I wasn't paying attention, and I'm in the Bahamas. So there you go. That won't win the, uh, you know. Precious take of the morning, but yes, I had to share that. Not that any of those things happen to me in the morning. I don't, the, know, I don't know why I would think of that. It's the Sunday drivers or people who aren't paying that much attention who pull out in front of me, and I'm not necessarily always in a hurry, but I like to drive efficiently, so I'm never just going to be. Fast. That's what I call foot. it. She's She's no, no, I'm not, I'm not a lead foot, <laughs> but I, like, I always have the exact speed I want to go over the speed limit, maybe, usually like five miles per hour. That's my goal. Honestly, wherever you are, you do that? Usually, like you yes. you pay attention to that? Yeah, See, I pay attention. I have attention. no idea what I'm driving. <laughs> yeah, me either. That's Honestly. why I get But pulled. don't pull out in front of me and then don't go very fast. Sometimes, that drives me insane. Sometimes I'll be driving on JTB and I'll notice all these cars like flying by me. And I'll look down and I'm going, oh, I'm going 50. <laughs> That is never me. I'm no. always going I, 70. Happened. Maybe that, I should speed up. Oh, that's, how, that's happened to me. You are, that is a problem. Like That is a that's legit a problem? problem. Yes. Oh. You can cause an accident because then everyone I'm has to get around you. I'm accident by going slow. Yes. You're going too slow. <laughs> okay. Where is it? Well, there was a story not too long ago about the, the, the policeman who was pulling over people for going too, too slow. slow. Yeah, I because some that. of these states have, on the highway especially, yeah. you have to go at least. But it's usually like. 45 or 50 or something. I oh, like no, the- I know what it was. If We did it, actually, I think, trending. If you're in the left lane, if you're not going 75, 80 to get by, like if you're going the speed limit in the left lane, yeah. they're ticketing you. Oh, Keep yes. up with the speed of traffic. Yes. Right. What do you got, Beaver? Uh, by the way, shout out to the uh, – we always encourage the Googies to win on the text line. Not that it's related to uh, WTF, but related to your conversation. Uh, guy says, and to go further with it, if you're in the afternoon, you can really tell – who doesn't like their home life? Who doesn't want to go home? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Beef, can I can I can I offer up an opinion for? Uh, do you have something? No. poignant or be my guest. Uh, I will uh, before you uh, deliver uh-huh. it, Dan. Uh-huh. Does this I'll give like... you the lead in making the best point? Yes. Yeah, it kind of uh, does. Yeah. I want you to chime in one way or the uh-huh. other. Yeah. Uh, Googans, please weigh in with their takes after yeah. Dan and Jeff give theirs, and uh, one lucky Googan at random uh-huh. will uh, win a pair of clubhouse grounds tickets. For the Web.com Tour Championship at Atlantic Beach Country Club. Cool. Uh, and uh-huh. you'll be entered for a chance to win a pair of tickets to Jaguars Patriots Sunday 
with admission to the Jaguar tailgate experience, complete with food and beverage before the game. I am excited about the game on Saturday. Well, that's what I wanted to build yeah. on. And and it struck me yesterday, and I've been talking to people around town, and the, the, the now the discussion comes up about, well, do you have tickets? Are you going to the game? And it struck me, and this is very rare in Jacksonville FLA, but this is the week Hard we've ticket. arrived into a, a – into a new stratosphere this week, and maybe it'll only be this week alone, but hopefully not. We have become a tough ticket town. More, more a demand. Tough ticket town. More demand than supply. When you become a tough ticket town, that is tremendous. Yeah. When now, because because now, you know, I saw I saw somebody. It's two hundred dollars for standing room only. Yeah, it's a tough ticket town. Welcome to the NFL. Yeah. <laughs> this is a. I week. feel for my son. In fact, um, I hope he's not listening right now because I think I'm going to go back and like <laughs> slide him half of it, but. Uh-huh. You know, he he panicked. I don't want to say panicked, uh-huh. but a few weeks ago, he wants to go to that Patriots game. Sure he does. I mean, the poor kid's 22 years old. You know yeah. what they make. He yeah. put down like 130 bucks for That's a, a lot of money. upper deck. Yeah. Well, we, town. And we did the stub up. Remember I did the stub up story last week? Yeah. How expensive the, the, the cheapest ticket to oh, get yeah. in was well over 100 bucks. Oh, yeah. This is a, it's a, it's tremendous to be part of a tough ticket town. And it's a small victory for, for a season ticket holders. Because uh, you I'm got in the door deal. with three yeah. big, three ducats. Yeah. Maybe I should sell them uh, and pay for my season tickets. Uh, but, yeah, so I'm, I'm excited about being part of a tough ticket town. There are not that many tough ticket towns or not many and, tough and, ticket town games. And tough ticket towns don't have a long lifespan. Not all. You got to win. Some of them do. Yes. I mean, the Green Bay doesn't matter what they're doing. They're going to be Green Bay is, is, is arguably, would you say, the toughest of the tough ticket towns. Well, I would say that Who would be a tougher ticket town? Uh, that's pr- that's Because I'm close. telling you who's not a tough ticket town. Great fan base, don't get me wrong, but not a tough ticket town is Pittsburgh. When Wait. when my son last year, uh, Drew, got a ticket for a hundred bucks to the playoff, to a playoff game. game. Yeah, that's not a tough ticket town. No, that's not. I have learned apparently easy ticket town. Uh-huh. Uh huh. L A. L A. is an easy ticket yeah, town, especially think? for the opposition. Come on out. We've got a three day package. We'll put you up for free in the in the Westin. And we'll give you a ticket to the uh, Chargers game. But parking is going to be $100. Uh, you can Today get a standing room only ticket right now on Ticketmaster for $99. $99. Is, that's that's a crazy. standing room only. Right. Standing room only. Yeah. But that, on, better uh, than $200. I'll, yeah. I'll tell you from the secondary, it's to your point. Mm-hmm. On I the, love being a tough ticket town, though. I the, love that. On the secondary ticket market right now, the, uh-huh. the, 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 now this is a ticket with a seat. Yeah. The cheapest here in Jacksonville for the Patriots game is $108. So that'll be probably a corner upper deck seat. You're sitting in the upper deck for over a hundred bucks. Yes. Think yeah. about that for Jacksonville FLS. That's for what, the Jaguars that's franchise. That's what I said. My Never son, has my that happened. My son's like 130 to sit, you know, midfield upper deck. Yeah, I see section 403, 129 dollars. So yeah, that's where he is. Yep. That's yep. it. That's the ticket. Well, it's a tough ticket town. So you keep going down, and the next ticket that you that's get that, it, that is more expensive. <laughs> yeah. Vikings Packers 136. That would Green be a Bay. tough ticket. Yes, Green tough Bay. ticket town. Um, but but and uh, then, you know who else is a tough ticket town? New England has become a tough ticket town. AFC yeah. Championship game last year versus AFC Divisional. You weren't getting in that door for less than three hundred on the secondary market for the Jags pa- Patriots. Rams seventeen bucks. Want to go to the Rams game this week? We can by, get you in. By the way, mm-hmm. undersold the Rams. I don't know why we didn't just recognize the Rams are the the Rams are the favorite in the NFC. I didn't undersell them. I picked them to go to the Super Bowl. Yeah. yeah well, good for you. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, that they're. No, we got a long season. Well, a long see, I don't think the Raiders are that good, so I don't know that. Yeah, that's yeah a good but test. I'm not even. It's not even about what they did last night. It's just about the, talent, re, the reminder. Of, offense is neat. It's fun. It's quick. And look that what the first def- touchdown look to what Gurley, they've done with the defense. I mean, the offense added Brandon Cooks, lost nothing. Right. Well, the defense went crazy. And the defense They're going for it. Though. And by the way, Peters pick six last night. I'm talking about a tough ticket town, though. All right, a tough ticket town. <laughs> Denver's um, always been kind of a tough ticket. There's town. There's only one other Seattle. There's only one. Seattle is a good tough ticket town. I don't At least have, it has been. It might yeah. change. I don't have. Yeah. Is Seattle home this week? No. Dang. We're at the Bears. Uh, oh. Bears, 101. That's, that could be Who a tough ticket playing? town. Seattle. Oh. Uh, the Bucks are 109, but that's just because that's of the Eagles. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm guessing. They're yes. just up in their price because they know the Eagles fans will. Uh, is this on StubHub or is this on? I, I guess that's who. What are you looking at? I'm looking at ESPN scoreboard. Uh, yeah, that's not that's not a good indicator. you got to almost like StubHub each game and then see what it is on the secondary market, I think. Well, no, this is StubHub, and it's okay. giving me the lowest price. Oh, it's not okay. giving me all. So I'm okay. giving you the lowest okay. price you can get in. And that was so that was accurate. But anyway, I'm excited about that. And salute to Jacksonville FLA and the Jacksonville Jaguars. 
this week, and it might not, it may, it may change, but it may hopefully be this way for the Steelers as well. We became a tough ticket town, and uh, I'm, I'm very thrilled about it. By the way, Dan, from the text line, driven by Duval Ford, 641-1010, to yes. talk about tough ticket towns. Uh-huh. Tough ticket town, tough ticket town. Oh, wait, one more thing. You know why I know we're a tough ticket town, tough ticket here, town. here at the radio station? Because lots of times during uh, home games, we're throwing out a couple, two, three tickets away. Hey, we got tickets to give to the Jags and the Falcons. Hey, we got tickets to give the Jags and the Texans. Right. I haven't heard much this week about giving uh, away tickets to the Jags and the Pats. Triple T. Uh, Tough ticket town. Uh, according to one of the Googans on the text line, uh, speaking of the triple T's, uh-huh. he said uh, he's been on the season ticket waiting list in uh, Green Bay. So he got his updated uh, placement in line standing email yesterday. Uh-huh. He currently stands at number 66,000. That's amazing. Wow. So you'll never, he'll never get them. Right? You know, you'll never 66, get them. 66,000? Correct. You'll never get them. Now, that's a tough ticket town. That is a, uh, <laughs> I will say this, too. And by the way, the, as history goes on, and we're only 24 years into the Jaguars, one day, wouldn't that be neat if that could become Jacksonville? I'm sure it would. Well, that, and that usually, we're a great football city, man. It applies to winning. Winning will help. Winning will help. But I the mean, Packers, Packers had a long. But they're title town. Now, that's what, what started. But when title town went belly up in the 70s and the. Part of the 80s, 80s yeah. when when Lynn Dickey and Scott Hunter and John Brockington. Turnell Middleton. Turnell <laughs> Middleton. Uh, were they a tough ticket town then, Jeff Prosser? They were playing a game in Milwaukee every yeah. year. I once you went, know what that means? I went to a Packers game in Milwaukee. I had, and there was, Beef, what does Milwaukee stand for? It's uh, a, a Fun fact, Dan, it's actually Algonquin. It means the good land. Thank you, friend. The good land. Well, isn't that something? You learn something every day here on the program. <laughs> Technically, it's pronounced Milwaukee. Yes. Huh. Interesting. Now, now, uh, the good thing about the, the tough ticket town, too, uh, it goes beyond the pride in it being a tough ticket. It's the home field advantage that comes along. I mean, think about last year. The Seattle and the Buffalo games were the two biggest, toughest ticket games. Yes. And the team came through on both occasions. And winning the in a tough C- ticket town makes it even Seattle better. the Seattle game was outstanding. I but I would suggest. Similar, similar environment this yes. week. Now, I wonder. I don't know what the weather is going to be like. It's going to be hotter. Than well, Seattle. Seattle was great because it was football weather too. Is you know, but it will it will get you know. It's later in the afternoon. It should be a little cooler. What are you? If you thought at? our texter at number sixty six thousand on the Packers waiting list was bad, uh-huh. uh, another group had just called me and said he put his son on the Packer waiting list at birth, uh-huh. uh, and he's six years old now. He just got the, uh, update. the update. He's uh, one hundred twenty thousand. So the updates have come out. So uh, uh, how many, Lauren? See how many like season ticket holders. Roll over each year in Green Bay. It's six years of life. Is it like is it like eight seven? I I think the problem in Green Bay, the reality is, I think, and I could be wrong. They pass them down in families. I think you can pass. I think you get to keep them. So how are you ever going to get one? That's why I don't think there's many that kind of go through. I I had no idea when I've been to a game in Lambeau, and I just just no idea how fortunate I am to have gone to one. That is a trip that everyone needs to make. By the way, you haven't been to Lambeau, have you? It's the only one. You need to do that one in L.A. You in L.A. Especially knowing you, you would love it more than most because you like the history. And the tradition in it. They have two larger than life statues of Lombardi and Lambeau right out front. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I mean, I've never been to a place. And, and just think about this. When you leave the Packers game or when you get there, but especially when you leave, to the gift shop. Mm-hmm. They have it cordoned off like you're in line to ride Space Mountain, bro. You got to go through a long line to get into the gift shop to uh, buy Packers stuff. Tough According to a report from January of this year, guys, yes, uh, the season ticket waiting list stood at 133,000 people, and by their estimates, 90 to 100 to go available every year. 90, 90 to 100. 100. Yeah, so you're not getting in. I mean, it takes 10 yeah. years to get a the thousand. The average waiting time is 30 years. 30 years? Yeah. You're going to have to put your spot in the waiting <laughs> list, and you will. You have to hope that you know someone that has them, and they either can't use them anymore, or they die and then give them to you. Yeah. Can, oh, you can gift them to someone? You can. Yeah, you can yes. transfer them. Game to game. But only 90 to 100, you're, you're, Correct. Yeah, you're not probably it's not, not getting them. not a lot of turnover. Them. Wow. It's not that hard, I don't think. I mean, just almost everyone goes to a game. So I think a lot. I think it's there's a lot of tickets that are available. Right. But well, a lot know, of times what people will do is the way they give them to somebody else is it stays in their name, but they'll now, change I don't mean the address term. on file. Yeah, I don't mean long term. I just <laughs> well, mean anyway, for a game here. This week and this week alone, yeah. in 24 years of of Jaguar football, ladies and gentlemen, enjoy the week. We are a tough ticket town, and and once again, I strongly suggest when that Goodyear blimp goes over head and they take that shot of our beautiful our beautiful city and our beautiful stadium, we all shoot the middle finger up at the NFL. Wow. Um, <laughs> in unison. Be like a, it's a Super Bowl when they do the flashcards. <laughs> it's a Calvin Truck Accessories Tuesday. Tough this is the town! Drill.